I, I wish I had some positive news to pivot us to, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Bitcoin dropped below $34,000 and actually has dropped below $33,000 this morning. Take a look at BTC USD, $32,877 right now. The cryptocurrency slide marks the lowest level since January. We're actually looking back even further now, given this morning's leg lower. And this comes after the Dow lost more than 1,000 points on Thursday and the Nasdaq fell 5% last Thursday as well. You know, a few things to highlight here. This is a big test to that hodl mentality, the mm. hold on for dear lifers out there that are currently in the crypto market. But you also think about where we are right now. We're currently 10x where BTC prices bottomed during the last bear market. We were sitting at about $3,400, $3,300 in that range, in that bottom. And so typically this is a proving ground as well for that adoption when we see some of the different NFT marketplaces that have popped up, all of these different areas that kind of garner the attention into where people may be placing their own inclination to get into crypto as a means of transaction and utilization and where even more some of that funding in terms of the the number of investments are taking place in this place as well. It's interesting too uh, as well just looking at the, the bear center. I want to give my man Jared Blickery a shout out because I'm going to do a little technical analysis here real time for him. A uh, good point out here from Global Block. They are uh, they track crypto prices uh, and they do a lot of research. They're knowing that Bitcoin structure is bearish as lower lows and lower highs persist. So again, just like we're seeing in big cap tech stock, whether it's it's an Apple or an Amazon, a lot of broken charts out right there. Uh, and it's going to take, I think, a lot of sessions to try to regain positive investor sentiment, not just in crypto, but of course, big cap tech. And you're also, uh, I would argue, Bitcoin is being lumped in with this sell-off in tech. I feel super clueless because I didn't know until Brad just said it that hold on. I just thought hold on was like a cute bastardization. Hold on for dear hold. life, Julie. Hold I on, hold I didn't on. I actually realized that's what it stood for. I'll bring up Mimblewimble later on this week and it'll really. Well, what now? What? Yes, exactly. Okay.